Hello everyone! Today I have something for meat lovers. I'm gonna show you my favorite pork tenderloin recipe with leek roll and beetroot wheel. So let's do it! First thing I have to do is to bake my beetroot for my beetroot puree. So I just cut the sides a little bit. Transfer them in the baking tray. I drizzle it with vegetable oil. Put some thyme and rosemary on the top. Cover everything with the tin foil and I'm gonna bake it around 200 Celsius until the beetroot is gonna be very soft. So the beetroot is inside the oven, which is gonna take at least one hour. So in the meantime, I start with my vegetable stock, which I'm gonna use for my leek roll and then for my sauce. I have two leeks here and the first thing I have to do is to cut the same sizes. You wanna get six, seven or eight pieces. You can really adjust the size of leek roll for yourself. Then I'm gonna peel them a little bit so they are not super thick. But if you wanna get really thick roll, you can leave them how they are. The rest of the leek I'm gonna use for my stock. I want to use also some onions, garlic, carrots, dry mushrooms, peppercorns and allspice. You can adjust the stock how you like basically. This will help you to season the leek and I'm gonna use it for the sauce as well. So I just chop everything roughly and put it inside the pot. I cover it with water. I put a touch of soy sauce for nice color and taste and I'm gonna cook it for around 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cook my leeks in salted boiling water for a few minutes. But don't overcook them, cook them just like halfway because I want to cook them later on a little bit more. So the stock is cooking. I'm gonna leave it for around 30 minutes. But if you can do more, even better. And in the meantime, I start with my beetroot wheel. I'm gonna need beetroot powder, butter, egg whites, sugar and plain flour. I start with mixing butter, fine sugar and beetroot powder. Then I add flour and the last thing, the egg whites. You wanna mix it properly with the whisk and you end up with something like this. The next step is to spread it on the silicone mat. Make sure the holes are completely full with the dough so you can get nice pattern. And I'm gonna bake it 170 degrees Celsius, around 10 minutes. Then you just take it out carefully and the chips are ready for the plating. And now it's time to finish my leek roll. So I put clean film on the chopping board, then the leek on the top and let's roll it. Don't roll it too tight because you want to put some stock in between. Make sure that one side is completely closed and then cut the second one. At this time is my stock ready, so I strain it and I have to put a little bit agar inside so everything get nicely set. So I transfer it inside the pot. I'm using 200 ml of stock and I'm gonna use 2 grams of agar. So I put it in, cook it for around 3 minutes and then I'm gonna mix it with my leek roll. I put as much as I can inside and then I close it with another clean film. Make sure you do it nice and tight so everything stays inside and you get nice shape. And now I want to cook it a little bit more because I want to finish cooking my leek and I also want my stock season the whole roll. So I leave it inside boiling water for around 5 minutes and then transfer it fast in the cold water and then inside the fridge to set. And at this time are my beetroot soft, so I take them out from the oven and let's finish the puree. But of course, before blitzing, I have to peel them first. You can use knife or peeler, that's up to you. Then I chop them roughly and transfer them inside the blender. I season them with salt, vegetable oil, 
put a little bit of water and blitz everything properly together. I pass it through the chinois, so I make sure there are not any big pieces of beetroot. I check the seasoning for the salt and my puree is gonna be ready for the plating. Beautiful color and super smooth. That's how I like my puree. And let's find out if my food inspector also like beetroot. Because I would say he never had beetroot puree before. At the start he was a little bit skeptical, but at the end he lick everything out. And of course, like always, ask for the more. And now, let's finally start with the meat. And at the same time, I gonna prepare my sauce. I have here this beautiful pork tenderloin. So I just clean it a little bit from the fat and the silver skin and let's cook it. And I think you already know who like trimmings from the meat. And I exactly know what he's thinking now. That's it, you don't have any more, I want more. For my sauce, I mix my vegetable stock, chicken stock and red wine, everything roughly the same amount. But of course you can adjust the amount depending on your taste. And now I just reduce it down. Leek roll is nicely set now, so I can cut my portions. You can serve it cold like this, but I wanna reheat it later on. And now let's cook the meat. I season it properly with salt and pepper and let's make nice crust. So very hot pan, vegetable oil and let's sear it. Make sure you have nice color around and then you finish it inside the oven. Many people always asking me how to find out if the meat is cooked enough. And for this is the best way to learn touch the meat. And the second best option is to use thermometer. I like to use this wireless one so I can put the probe inside the meat and then set up everything on the phone. I just set up my preferred dumbness and the app tell me exactly when I have to take the meat out. This is super convenient. I gonna leave the link for this meter in the description down below so you can check it out and get one for yourself. My stocks are reduced now, so I can put a little bit butter, check the seasoning for the salt, and my sauce is ready to go. As you can see, you can even watch the graph of the temperature. So the meat is ready now, so I take it out, leave it to rest for a few minutes, and in meantime, I reheat my leek roll. But you don't want to put leek roll in super hot oven, because otherwise the gel gonna melt. So you want to leave it to cool down a little bit and then just reheat it on low heat for a few minutes. Now I can take out the clean film, slice the meat and I'm gonna be ready for the plating. Only one disadvantage of this thermometer is that you get big hole in the middle of the meat. But I think it's no big problem. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And now I have everything ready. So let's do the plating today. I will do two platings. The second one you can watch like always on my Patreon page. If you still didn't see it and would you like to see my bonus content, learn how to make my favorite sauces, different crisps, bonus plating options, or just support my channel, check out the link in the description below and join my community on Patreon. And now let's do the plating. I start with beautifully cooked pork tenderloin. Then is coming my leek roll few dots of my super smooth beetroot puree. One beetroot twill. Few nasturtium leaves. And I'm gonna finish it with my red wine sauce. So what do you think guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn fine dining cooking from me personally, so you don't have to waste time with trial and errors at home, really understand all the basics of fine dining cooking, so you can start creating your own fine dining dishes, 
learn how to balance the taste and improve plating once for all. Check out the link in the description down below and apply for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching and I will personally help you. And if you want to see another recipe with pork tenderloin, check out this video with hazelnut potatoes and mustard puree. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.